In this video, we will talk about the execution pipeline. What do we mean by that? What is happening when the report is executed? You're probably familiar with this architecture slide, where we previously explained you that at the moment when the report data source is ready, Docentric jumps in and checks if the report that's currently being executed is registered for Docentric. And if we find a matching configuration in Docentric, we will take over the data source from the SSRS, we will figure out which of the templates should be applied, we will combine them into a document, that's what Docentric Document Generator is doing, and we will send the document to one of the Docentric Improved Print destinations. So let's see this point here, or in other words, how does the Centric know that it needs to jump in at this moment? Let's see what is happening when we want to execute one report, and I will use purchase order for this example. There is one very useful setting in the Centric. If you go into user options, uh, account, here you have some docentric settings and this flag here, discover report technical name. Based on that flag, what will happen when I execute a report? Let's preview. We will see, depending on the report and depending on what was done by your implementation partner, Maybe this information isn't completely reliable. The only reliable information about the report that's being executed is this one. So, the centric, this was printed out based on this flag, which I uh, showed you previously. Now, the centric knows that this report is being executed and it will go through this list of reports that you registered for the centric. Remember, we said in this style we register the reports we want to run through the centric. Which reports will you register? Those for which you want to use the centric templates and also maybe you have some legacy uh, reports where you did a lot of customizations already in SSRS and you don't want to migrate them to the centric so you want to keep using SSRS formats but you want to benefit from the centric improved print destinations. So union of these two types of uh, situations will result in the reports registered here. So at the moment, when the report data source is ready, the centric goes through this list of active reports and searches for the one where these two fields, SSRS report name and design name, match the currently executing report. And if we find a matching combination, as is the case here with the purchase order, the centric will take over. So these two fields are very important for the execution pipeline. They tell us that we need to jump in. There are two more most important pieces of information on this page. In addition to these two, the third information important for the report execution is this one here. So data source or in particular DSP, short for data source provider class. So in the process of preparing the document, the centric takes this data from SSRS and routes it through its own pipeline where the final touch happens in this class which is configured here. If you select a default class, that will guarantee that the data source as it, as it comes from SSRS is completely unmodified. But we don't recommend that, at least in the case of the centric replicas, where you have report-specific DSP classes provided by the centric, because there are many useful things that are happening in these report-specific DSP classes by the centric. But we will talk about that in some other tutorial. Right now, let's say that we are taking the data from here and transforming it into an XML structure as you know it in our report data source in the template. And finally, when we get this data source, then we need to figure out from one or more templates that you have registered for this report, which of them should be used. This would be the initial situation that you will have when you install our replicas. You will have this template here. Notice it is a Word document, 
it's named the same as a report, and it's stored on AOT as a docentric system template. And also here you have its original resource name because, as I said, it is stored on AOT as AOT resource. So, when the data source is prepared through this class, finally, it's combined with the selected template and the document is generated and then it is sent to the selected print destination. In case you select it here preview, then print destination will be screen. If you select it use print management, then the print destination will be the one that comes uh, from the print management. With this, we explained the most important elements uh, that influence the report execution. And next, we will explain how to deal with multiple templates per report.